What's up? Okay, I have to redo this video because uh, I shot it a few days ago and the locusts were so loud you wouldn't have been able to hear anything. And so these bags are so massive. Okay, I'm gonna do kind of like a, a size comparison for you. So this is an Avian X floater. I already have decoys in this one. These are 12 Avian X Mallard decoys with some GHG XD Mallards mixed in. It would have been, it would have been miserable. I was re-watching the video. It was terrible. So this video is about the Tangle Free 12 slot decoy bag, which I already have some out of the packaging or whatnot. But when you purchase this, it comes uh, in this folded up plastic bag and it's the Tangle Free Flight Series Marsh 12 slot decoy bag. So this is like the Gore uh, OptiFade Marsh pattern. Uh, works well and it camoed in with uh, dead uh, Gra uh, grass stubbles, wheat fields, um, uh, tall prairie grass, you know, all that. So, um, the dimensions of the bags are 39 inches by 17 by 20. The slot size is 6.5 inches by 8.5. So pra basically it's like three foot three inches, okay? And I'll go over some of the features. At the bottom, it has this mesh cutout drainage system. So when you put the decoys in the slotted bags, uh, it, water, if it's, if they're super wet, they can drain out. If you can see that, runs all down the bottom of the bag right there in the middle. Okay, and then that's the inside of the bag, all the slots. And I already have some decoys pre-rigged in there, so we'll go uh, check those out. So with these bags, you get a, a nice gracious front pocket here. You can put lots of steaks and whatever, whatever you feel the need to put in there. It has two zipper mesh pockets on top, so you can put whatever you need to in there. And then I have I'm gonna unclip this, that out of the way. I have some full body Avian X mallards in here, so you can put your full body mallards in here, you can put full body duck decoys in here, whatever you want, uh, your floaters as well. I just thought I'd put some you know, field decoys in here so you guys can see that for anybody hunting fields. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a good bag. It's so big that sometimes, or you know, I can put my, you know, cutters in here with my decoys. I can put my decoy poles in here, my mojo poles. For you guys that use fully flocked decoys or flocked heads, I thought uh, I'd show you, um, you know, an option. Uh, this is just some old pillowcase. I mean, old pillowcase. I got this pillowcase at Walmart for really cheap. So, um, if you want your decoys to last longer, uh, just, you know, kind of a, not necessarily a pro tip, but just a little, you know, cheat code, if you will. Um, if you guys want your decoys to last longer, you can just get some, you know, cheap pillowcases and keep your decoys in there. So, in this bag over here, I have decoys, but this what I like about these bags are, they are so big, I have teal decoys in here with 12 mallard decoys. So there's six teal decoys mixed in here. I could fit six more teal decoys in here if I wanted to, but that's how large these bags are. Um, so I really like that. 
and they are in fact so large I have this Avianx Canada floater out here they are so large they fit this goose floater okay this goose floater is massive okay so just to give you a perspective and idea of how big these duck decoy 12 slot bags are now obviously i'm not going to put a bunch of geese in these but i thought that was really cool how comfortably that fits in there and this this decoy is massive you know we're talking the keel the keel alone is you know 13 inches on that keel and the goose is you know i mean like one and a half foot from tail to front i mean you know it's pretty amazing this thing fits i i I was just pretty shocked. So, anyway, my favorite feature about these bags are the carry straps. Like a backpack. So, if you're like me and you walk in a bunch of places, public land or whatever, you put this on your back, it's a game changer for me. My friend has the... My friend has the um, Dakota, Dakota decoy bags. Those bags are awesome. They're super padded, they're quality made, but they only have the side strap. So, So this, this is what I like most about this bag versus other decoy bags. So you can So you can carry one on your back, okay? carry one in like this if you needed to your gun you know whatever whatever other gear uh, you might need to carry in but that's what I thought was the coolest about this uh, 12 slot decoy bag for me is the backpack carry in capabilities also the depth and the size of the 12 slots so I don't know if there's any videos on this um, decoy bag but tingle free has sales sometimes i think right now uh they've got the 40 percent off or 50 percent off of all their uh, products and whatnot so um i picked up a few more of them and i already had some and i've gotten all these on sale so if you just wait for the sale um you yeah. it's uh it's good gear and it's gonna last me so Anyway, no locusts this time, thankfully, here in the morning. I just woke up. So, anyway, uh, like, share, comment. Uh, if you have any questions about the bag, put them in the comments down below. I'll answer them. Uh, I also have some other videos about some Tangle Free gear I have, the solo blind and whatnot. Check out those videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one.